In microbiology, we need a way to figure out or estimate the number of cells or bacteria or fungal species, whatever you're looking at, in a target sample. And one of the ways to do this is colony forming units. So here my sample is just a bacterial culture. It's basically just a cloudy mixture. And what they do is take an aliquot or portion of this mixture and spread it on an agar plate and let the bacteria grow. And then count the bacterial colonies that form and divide that by the volume you aliquoted. So this is the, the number of colonies and the volume of aliquot. Now the standard measurement they use is CFU per mil. For example, if the volume we took was one milliliter of the original bacterial culture, our CFU per mil would just be 11 CFU per mil. Now this method, colony forming units, only counts the number of viable bacteria cells, right? So dead or non-dividing bacteria won't make colonies, so in this method, we aren't counting those. But another method that's quite commonly used in microbiology is we have a cytometer here. And what you would do, just take an aliquot, put it on a special glass slide, and this glass slide has a grid on there. You can look under the microscope and count the number of individual bacteria here. So this would include both viable and dead cells. Now this question is asking us to find the colony forming units per milliliter of our bacterial culture after a series of two dilutions. Now the first dilution, we're taking one milliliter of our original bacterial cell culture and putting it in 99 mils. And this is a one to 100 dilution where out of 100 milliliters of the total solution, there is one milliliter of the original solution. And then you're taking one mil of this solution and adding it to nine milliliters of buffer. And this would be a 1 to 10 dilution. And once those dilutions are done, we're going to spread 0.1 mil onto an agar plate and then we're going to watch the colonies grow. So 142 colonies grow and this means that we can calculate our colony forming units by just dividing 142 by 0.1 mil, and that makes 1,420 colony forming units per milliliter. These colony forming units per mil correspond to this solution here. And in order to find the original solution, we have to go back to dilution. So we have to undo these dilutions we actually just did. So Basically, we have to multiply it by these dilution factors to find the original one that's more concentrated in bacterial cells. The simplest way to look at this is to put everything in scientific notation. So this 1 times 10 to the 1 is this dilution here. And 1 times 10 to the 2 is the 1 to 100 dilution. And 1.42 times 10 to the 3 are the colony forming units calculated put into scientific notation. Now to find the answer all you do is just add the exponents and we get 1.42 times 10 to the 6 colony forming units. And this corresponds to of course the original bacterial culture and there's your final answer.